Have you ever been in a situation where you've heard a song on Spotify that you want to listen to again, but you don't know the name of the song or the artist? Well, if you think it was one of the last 50 songs you listened to, then you can quickly find it by opening the desktop version of Spotify, clicking on the Q icon in the bottom right corner of the app and selecting history. This list will show you the last 50 songs that you played. And to my knowledge, it's only available on the desktop version of the app. I couldn't find a similar history option in either the mobile app or the web player. But let me know in the comments section if I have that wrong. If the song you're looking for is not listed in your history, all is not lost. You can request your complete play history from Spotify. To do this, log into your Spotify account in a browser. If you're already in Spotify, you can simply click on the drop down menu next to your name and choose account. Once logged in, go to privacy settings and scroll down all the way to the bottom of the page to the section called download your data. Here you can click on the request button to ask Spotify to send you a copy of all the information they have saved about you, which conveniently includes your play history. Having clicked the button and proved you're not a robot, Spotify will then send you an email asking you to confirm the request. Just be wary that this process can take some time. In my case, it took two days before Spotify provided me with a link to download my data. However, they do say it can take up to 30 days. Here you can see the three emails you'll receive from Spotify. The first in the list is that confirmation to initiate the request process. You'll need to click on confirm, log back into Spotify and you'll be presented with a message confirming Spotify is preparing your information. The second email just confirms exactly that process again, that Spotify is preparing your data and that it may take some time. Finally, hopefully a few days later, you'll receive a third email with a link to download your data. Click on the link, sign back into Spotify and Spotify will request that you re-enter your password for verification. Click verify to initiate the download process. Spotify provides all the information in a zip file. So I'll right click and extract the file. And here we have all my data in various JSON formatted files. The one containing our play history is the largest of the files called streaming history 0.json. If I open the file in Notepad, you can see it contains a full list of songs I've previously listened to. However, having the information in a JSON file is not very useful. So to turn it into something more manageable, I'll convert the JSON file to a CSV file and I'll demonstrate how to view the contents in Excel and Google Sheets. I'll go to Google and find a free tool online that will convert the file. I'll click on the first result in the list and browse to my JSON file and click convert to CSV. You can see the website gives me an idea of how the results will look and it looks a little bit more readable than just viewing the results in Notepad. I'll download the file and open it in Excel. I'll then expand the columns and press Control Shift End to highlight all the cells of data. And then I can click Format as Table and pick a color for my table. And there we have it. Now I can see my complete play history. And if I want, I can filter by artist. If you don't have Excel, don't worry. You can do the same thing for free in Google Sheets. I'll open up my Google Drive and create a new sheet. I'll choose File and Import select the import tag and then I'll drag my CSV file onto the tab and click import data. Here is the list of all the artists and songs I've listened to. Google Sheets unfortunately doesn't have the same format as table option that Excel has, but I can make the list a bit more presentable by getting rid of some of the columns I don't need, highlighting my two headings and creating a filter. And then I just need to click on this box to select all my data and I'll choose format and alternative colors from the menu. I'll pick a blue color. And there you have it. There is my complete Spotify history presented as a table in Google Sheets. And that's it. That is how to download your complete play history in Spotify. If you found the video useful, please give me a like. And for more tips and videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.